Bloggers Pow. Right, let's have a look at some movie based arcade games. Right, first off we have Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. You know, from the second out of the three Indiana Jones movies. Because there was never a fourth one, was there? And there's not going to be a fifth one, is there? Nope, we're just talking about one Indiana Jones movie. Well, I'm going to put it in. Okay, well, let's just start. Oh. And we have a standard Atari sort of thing here going on. A game which is loosely based on the movie. Oh, remember that time Indiana Jones actually had a... Oh, shit. Actually had a quota of children to rescue in the movie. Indiana Jones and the Accountants of Doom. Child Accountants? I suppose that's child slavery as well, isn't it? I just thought we could whip. Oh, crap. Whip that child there, but well, not whip the child because that would just be wrong. Whip the cage open like that. Uh, one left to find. Let's go and find. Oh, there he is. He's over oh, that way. I was hoping I could. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Escaping the minecarts indeed, because that was a thing. Oh, one just touch of a thuggy card, and and you die. Well, I suppose at least the app, the app. But at least I suppose the uh, whip doesn't have ammunition, because that would be stupid. Who would put that in a video game, eh? Excellent, we walk from here and then go and collect the Sankra Stone while trying to avoid Mouldy Rum there. I'm trying to, there's a guy in the way and this door keeps on opening. And there we go. So, and then because it's an Atari arcade game, you rinse and repeat the score. Which is fine, this is the way they did things back then, and we'll see it won't be the first time they do it on this video. But it's fine, because it's a score attack game. And I think if you do spend too long faffing about whipping guards, Moldy Rum turns up and throws burning hearts at you or something. Like that! And that guy just fell all the way down there. Uh, whip skeletons because desecrating the dead, that's a thing. Especially when you're a world renowned grave robber, I mean archaeologist. I'm doing better this than I remember being able to do. But uh, I know who is good at this, it's uh, Sergeant Goat. And I do believe he finished it once. And there's three captives left. If you leave them behind, Mouldy Rum is well happy with you. Oh my god, there's one there. Oh crap! Watch for feet on the path. So I was hoping that oh, I could fall down just a little bit further there without dying. Right, where's these children? Not this way. Probably down here. Can you go in there? No, you can't. Oh! Whip the flaming heart. You whip the flaming heart. And you can't go in here. Ah, oh, there we go. There's one there. How do I get to it? I'm presuming the level wraps round, so I just have to walk all the all the way this way, innit? Yeah, there we go. That is the case. The levels are actually quite small. There's this, this uh, wrap around sort of thing going on.
Oh no, that's a homing heart. That's not a thing. Well, if I don't find this kid soon, I'm actually going to bug off and get straight in the minecart. I'm sorry, boy. Girl. Whoever. Oh no. And I'm... No, I've still got a life left. Okay. I mean, by today's standards, this isn't an objectively good game, per se. Oh, there he is. He's all the way up here. Oh, but bugger nuts. Right, let's have another quick bash. Fortune and glory, kid. Right, let's go straight to medium this time. How bad can it be? Wait, so I was just about to talk about conversions. There's conversions to lots of things on this. Uh... There's a NES version, which is poor. There's a Commodore 64 Spectrum Amstrad version. So I believe there's an ST version. Goes, uh, there's another Templar Doom game, which is not the same as this, on one format at least. And I can't remember which format it is, so look it up by yourself. Already the um, difficulties ramped up a bit. And that's something on medium. I don't think it's telling me how many children are left to me rescue, unless I've already rescued them all. Oh, bats! Flip the flaming heart and whip the bats. Being very demanding. And this is going to go well. Not well, by the way. Because the second, third, subsequent, yeah, that exactly. Tilt to avoid dead ends that are really, really fast. Which you will not see coming. So it's a, you know, I suppose you can memorise that. Right, let's get the heart. Now there's another way around to this heart. You can go this way. Bit of a long way around. With a couple of snakes, get some scoffs for desecrating small corpses. There we go. Oh, and only one door opens here, so that's fine. Well, yeah, I was going to, but you only opened one door. Oh, well, there's an altar door there as well, so that'll do. And off we start again on another level. And this time it's got slidey bits. So we're going to avoid the slidey bits. Oh, that was annoying. Oh, it's got the rock crushing thing in the movie. So, yeah, the, the levels get progressively more difficult. Indy's control isn't particularly good, and I'm not sure if that's down to, shit, down to emulation. I do remember the arcade game being a bit tricky on the collision detection. Anyway, right, let's go swinging and go sliding down here. Wee! And you can whip while you do it as well. And of course you can't go up them. Of course. Have you ever tried walking up a slide in the play park? Yeah, so I think it's actually really easy, so I don't know why Indiana Jones can't do it. Four captures remaining. Can I be bothered to go for the other three? I think not, unless they're practically here like that one. They are all packed here because I believe there's one here. Yeah, fuck it. One of them gets a child. And if you're too slow on this start, I do believe the. Um, Water catches up with you like it does in the movie. Oh! Oh! Well, that's interesting. 
whip enemy cards. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> I was just afraid this is actually turning out to be good fun. No, I am enjoying it, but it's um, a little skeleton there. Those parts really do move. So yeah, in general, it's only the arcade game. It's still good. It's not the best game I'll ever play, but I still have a soft spot for it. Lovely stuff. Right, so this is Tron, and I will just say now, the main version is a paint in the arse to set up because the um, direction of your arm is done with a dial in the arcades and I couldn't get it to work properly so I'm playing this on the Xbox 360 on the live arcade version of this game and to be honest it's still not good oh, the direction of fire as I say was done on the paddle um, a dial on the cabinet and you'd fire with the joystick And this doesn't feel quite right. It's better than playing on MAME, I'll give it that, but anyway. Anyway, this is drawn. You have four events, I suppose, thing, scenes based on the movie to play. And I'm doing very badly. And the iconic light cycles bit. This was Dan Broad says arcades back in the day, and I had great fun playing this back in the day. Look, I've trapped him off, he's completely screwed now. Alright, so let's try and do the MCP code again. Now, the crazy thing is, is when I was playing this Dan Broad says arcades, and that was like early 90s. I hadn't seen Tron. I didn't see Tron until it came out on DVD, would you believe? It's just one of those films that passed me by. There we go. Up the MCP. Ooh, uh, like your mum. But yeah, I hadn't seen Tron, uh, like I say, until it came out on DVD. So I had all these years playing the arcade game, but not actually really knowing the source material. Come on, I'm just going to bait him in here. No, it's not quite working as it should do. It should be able to spin it. You know, in this, the arcade game, because of this well, stupid Xbox Live arcade. Oh, yeah, I can do this. Yep. As I was saying, in the arcade game, because of the spinner, you could spin the spinner. It was, it was like, it was like, incredibly satisfying to use. Where are you going to go, matey? That way, because of course you are. There we go, getting the hang of things now. And if you could spin it like in the arcade, you would have that freedom of the arm movement. It was definitely a lot nicer. So yes, in its original arcade form, I really quite like Tron. 
in the home versions this is probably the best way to play it because of the easier to use the controls on two sticks but it's a pain in the arse either way it doesn't quite play right on 360 anyway should we go back to the arcades then right next up we have crawl a movie based on a film about a man with a frisbee or something i don't know i've not seen this i've never seen crawl and the only reason I remember Krull as a thing is that back in whenever it was 1984 when it came out everyone at school was talking about Krull I didn't go and see Krull so I don't know if this is accurate or not what I will know is that when I should have been seeing Krull at the end of term when they wheeled out the video recorder in its uh, silly metal box on wheels there was a vote between the boys and the girls in class to watch Krull or Gregory's Girl. Guess what won? Gregory's Girl. So I've seen half of Gregory's Girl before I buggered off and did something else on the last day of term, but I didn't get to see Krull. And do you know what? I'm okay with that. And now we've got Frisbees now. And this is a multi-directional firing thing. Differently done from the one we just saw in Tron. Oh, the green guys are you supposed to be rescuing them? Again, if I'd seen the movie, I probably would have known that. Boo. Right. Let me get to con continue. No, I'm probably Colwyn 1. Is that the name of the character in the movie? Colwyn? Right, Colwyn Bay? Okay. So, collect all the bits of your frisbee. While avoiding boulders. One bit of a fidget spinner. They should reboot Kroll where he has a fidget spinner instead of his spiky frisbee. There we go, all bits of the spiky frisbee. Now, this time, rescue the green men, shoot the grey ones. And it's a set of those, just was not paying much attention. And I've looked at the controls as well on MAME here for this. Uh, it is a twin stick, but which is uh, easier to configure than the dial in Tron. So that's good. Oh, and I've still got lasered. I presume that's a laser. Now, do I have to destroy all the grey guys? This is a lot easier once you've got the controls configured properly, that's for sure. Pick up your army and lead it to the hexagon, because all armies need to go to a hexagon, obviously. Where's this hexagon? Oh, there it is. Now, the wolves this... shit. Wolves are this place glowing because they're going to kill me, or... Oh, what? That's major bullshit. Okay, well, we'll have another bash, but we'll go straight to level 3, presuming I'll we'll get that far. Right, really back to stage 3. Now, rescuing the army and sticking them in a magic hexagon, which is there. So, a few people in a hexagon. These troll guys keep on dropping, dropping out at an alarming rate, giving you little or no shit. See what I mean? Anyway, Colwyn Bay is dead again. So yes, there's Krull. I've not seen the film. I don't think I want to play the game again. Right, and last off we have Return of the Jedi. The second Star Wars arcade game. Wouldn't you know it? Empire Strikes Back came out actually after this as a conversion kit for the original Star Wars. And I'm not going for the original Star Wars because this is the one which um, doesn't seem to get talked about. Because to be honest, it's a bit weird. I 
Yeah, so I don't know why it starts with uh, the speed of bike chase. I suppose it was probably one of the iconic things in the movie. But um, it does, and I just ran into an Ewok trap because I wasn't really looking where I was going. And to be honest, characters in the movie don't. And look at these trees, all nicely laid out like the Ewok Forestry Commission planned it all out. This is brilliant. Um, you have to push yourself forward quite a rate of knots to get through the Ewok traps. We can just avoid them by flying around them. Uh, the biker sprouts not really very good. And I know the form the formation of these trees. I don't know why they're becoming such a problem for me, because I'm an idiot, that's why. You should have used the force more. It's not how the force works. It doesn't help you play across the Atari Colony Ops he last played at the co-op in Broadstairs. Yes, it is analog controls for the uh, for this, so this is why it's a little bit weird on MAME. It uses the same yoke control the, er the original shit Star Wars used, which meant they actually had to tilt the triggers forward to go forward, and it was like a steering wheel. Because uh, yeah, because that's how yokes work, obviously. Right, we know the weird trees. Because the Ewoks parted them in a triangular formation, and here we go. Ewoks and C3PO and R2D2. Brilliant, we're part of the tribe until next time. Okay, right, into the Death Star we go. And this is fine, this bit. This is like an instruction, obviously, like in Jenna Jones on subsequent playthroughs. Shit, it gets harder. And of course, the further you are up the screen, the faster it is, which is a bit tough because you can't actually see what's going on. TIE Fighter is uh, easily goaded into flying into big, big red pipes. And uh, it's time for the main core power regulator, North Tower. Uh, and this bit always get the crap out of me in the arcades. Curiously, most of the red pipes have disappeared, but not all of them. Wow, I actually remember some of the layout here. This is mad. Uh, come on. You can do it, Lando. Hooray, the Death Star is destroyed. Sort of taking his time to explode though but but you know so level two so you go around again there's more traps there's more biker sprouts and they're more hostile as well but like in Jenna Jones it changes things up a bit as levels go on and you will see as long as I get through the bloody trees and remember the foot the formation the Ewoks planted them in for my no that's just bullshit Right, we're going to skip ahead to this bit again. Right, so we've made it through the second stage of the speeder bike chase. And you can control Chewie and the Scout Walker. Which of course the Ewoks haven't got the memo yet and they're throwing logs after you because little furry bastards. And I'm actually surprised I'm doing this well. And, to mirror the movie, you jump cut to the fleet battle, and then back to the scout walk, which is initially really confusing, but sort of cool. But it's sort of strange how they completely missed um, Tatooine off this, where you could have had a Luke Skywalker spring diving competition or something, I don't know. And I wish there was more of this sort of diagonal spaceship Star Destroyer stage. I'd like to have seen more of that. Oh, there's a bastard enemy scout walker. Two of them. Just walk past them. Look, his hands are blowing up the bunker. And of course, what do you do now? Oh, oh, okay. You don't go straight for that. I thought you went straight to the Death Star bit. Okay. And I've lost my side fighters. Now we're going to the Death Star.
and then you go rinse repeat it is again a score based game like Temple of Doom I actually like Tron I actually like Crawl. wait it's almost like the arcades were made for scoring and competition my life's been a lie all along it hasn't really I'm not that stupid well my, my, I am stupid but not that stupid Let's see if we can actually get through the second Death Star level. Not far to the reactor core. This can be one hell of a journey back. And what gets me here is it, when you reach the, the uh, generator, it flips the sprite and the perspective's all wrong because you're looking from behind the Falcon, but it's just flipped the sprite the other way up. It just looks like it's a really weird angle. And I'm dead. The weird thing is if you die there and you've got a life left, you go straight onto the next stage where you just don't get the bonus for destroying the Death Star. So, I, I, I guess that's nice. You don't have to do the Death Star run again, and I'm really dead now. So yes, Return of the Jedi for the arcades. Missed opportunity at the time, maybe. Hidden classic, I don't know, but it is sort of enjoyable still. So there were some movie based arcade games, are there any you'd recommend? If there are, please comment below! Yeah, subscribe or naff off!